Prince William, Prince Harry's alleged tension only getting worse, expert claims. Prince William and Prince Harry's alleged drift is reportedly getting worse now that they are living apart. In January, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced that they were stepping back from their royal duties. They immediately moved to Canada after the bombshell announcement. In March, Prince Harry and Markle returned to the UK to carry out their final engagement as royals. They joined Queen Elizabeth II, Prince Charles, Prince William, Kate Middleton and more members of the firm at the Commonwealth Day Service. After that, they returned to Canada, then packed up and moved to the US. However, prior to Prince Harry and Markle's move, there were already speculations that they were feuding with the Cambridges. According to royal commentator Phil Dampier, it might take time for the two princes to reconcile because things are getting worse between them. It's only getting worse between them, and now that they're going to start their new life living on the other side of the Atlantic, I don't anticipate seeing Harry and Meghan back in the UK for a long time, Dampier told New Idea. One hopes that they make up in some shape or form but I don't see it happening in the near future. This could be a massive turning point where reality sets in, where we realize it's really the end of Harry and Meghan's royal career. And whatever they do now, things will never really be quite the same, he added. In March, Prince William and Middleton were accused of snubbing Prince Harry and Markle because they barely acknowledged the two when they arrived at their seats at the Commonwealth Day service. Body language expert Bianca Cobb even said Middleton showed zero acknowledgement. However, According to Dampier, there was a reason why Prince William didn't talk to Prince Harry the way he spoke to Prince Edward and Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, at the time. The future king reportedly wanted to calm down Prince Harry because he was seething after Queen Elizabeth II prohibited them from joining the procession. Royal correspondent Rebecca English also said at the time that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were supposed to join the Queen's entrance march. However, they decided to just wait at their seats like Prince Harry and Markle to defuse the tension because the Sussexes were upset after the monarch dropped them from the main VIP party.